Okay, guys. Hello, and uh, this is Abhilash again, and we are now going to look at the uh, next uh, program in our uh, syllabi. So the next program is on uh, an uh, ALP to determine whether the given 16-bit number is an even number or an odd number. You just need to find whether a number is an even number or an odd number. So this is a very significantly simpler operation. Uh, and we are again going to go through the same two steps uh, as we did in the other experiments. We are going to see what is the logic uh, for finding out whether a number is an even and an odd number. And after that, we are going to see how to implement that logic uh, in the assembly level program for an ARM protection tree. So uh, let's look at the uh, logic itself first of all. So uh, initially, let's take an example of a decimal number. The number that we are looking at is 24 in decimal, which if you convert to binary, uh, if you convert to hexadecimal is going to be 18. right? So from the hexa, you can directly write the binary and this is the binary number that you are going to get. Now, uh, this number is your 18. To verify, uh, this is 1 and this is 8. So that, that basically is your direct representation of uh, hexa in a binary string. Now, the same way, taking number 25, 25 now is then obviously going to be 19 in hexa. So this is 1 and 9 in binary for us. Now, this is the uh, numbers that we are going to take and specifically I have chosen 24 and 25 uh, so that we have one even number and one odd number in our example. Now directly comparing these two, you can see that the difference uh, of being even and odd will always lie in the end LSP. That is the LSP which has got 2 to the power of 0. So if this LSB bit or the 2 to the power of 0 value, if this bit is representing a 1, then it is an odd number. If not, it is an even number. So the weightage of 1, which makes a number odd, is given by the LSB bit. So if this bit is 1, then obviously it's an odd number. If not, it is going to be an even number. Because all the remaining weights are powers of 2s and they have to be even numbers. The only odd number uh, in this entire binary conversion, in the binary level, is from the LSB bit, that is the 2 to the power of 0 bit. So we only have to check the LSB bit to find out if a number is even or odd. That, that's as simple as it can be. So we are going to use again a rotate operation and we are going to check that logical rotate operation by rotating the value into carry and we are going to check if the number has got a uh, carry or not after the rotation. So if there is a carry then it simply means that the LSB bit is 1 and that is an odd number. And if there is no carry that simply means that the number is an even number. So you only have to check uh, if, the, if there is a carry or if there is no carry. More importantly to identify whether there is a carry or not, uh, what we are really going to do is we are going to uh, uh, move or set one register uh, we are going to use one register with some specific value which will tell you that if this value is stored then it's an odd number if this value if this value is not stored or if the register is empty then it's an even value so some logic like that let's implement now this will become a very simple code uh, the almost the same portions that we have done the C program we will call then in, a, in within the C program this assembly level program will have to be called and in the assembly level program we are going to use register R0 uh, with the value that you actually want to check. So R0 is the register into which we are going to load the value which we are going to check for even or odd and once that is done we are going to shift R0 by one time to a logical rate. And once that logical write shift happens, the LSP bit is going to be loaded into our carry register. So you are simply going to check the carry flag. If the carry flag is set, then R3 will be incremented. If the carry flag is not set, uh, then R3 will be decremented. Uh, R3 will be unchanged. So this is the logic that we are going to use. This is the simple program that we are going to use for 
finding out if a number is even or odd. So now let's see how this program is really going to work. So I have already uh, typed our program somewhere. Let me open it. Okay, so this is the program, I guess. Yeah, so there is a small uh, thing here that uh, I had to modify. Uh, if you don't clear R3, uh, we will have difficulty in finding out if the number was added or not. Uh, so to make things simpler, what we are really going to do is R3 is going to be cleared. And also the number that you can load uh, into R0, you have to be careful. It, it cannot be a very large number. You should make you you keep a smaller number to make things simple. So I have just loaded uh, the hexadecimal eleven into the number here, and from this uh, I am simply going to find out if the number is even or odd. So hexadecimal level eleven basically means that uh, we are looking at this number here. This is the binary equivalent of the number uh, that we are going to use. Now, this number we are going to load, R3 has to be cleared, after that you do a logical shift, so when you do a logical shift, one is there which will get loaded into the carry flag and R3 will be incremented or R3 will be incremented set to 1. So if R3 is set to 1, that means uh, this is an odd number, R3 is set to 1 means whatever R0 has is an odd number, if R3 is set to 0, then R0 is actually having an even number. So this is the logic that we are going to use. Uh, I am going to remove these two. We don't need any kind of loop here. So this is enough for us for doing the program. Okay. So let me save this. And let's uh, build the whole thing again. Okay. So zero errors, no warnings and some warnings and let's put it into debug mode. Okay. Uh, so to show you uh, for the very first time, I am going to simply put a breakpoint uh, before the uh, rotate instruction. So now what we are supposed to do is uh, when the till here by the time it executes R0 will have uh, 0x11, R3 will have been cleared. So let's see if that really happens. Yeah, so R0 right now has got 0x11 and R3 has actually got clear. Okay, so now let's go ahead and complete the execution. Now, once the execution has completed, you can see that it has come and got stuck with the while loop. So that means what has really happened here? R0 has got shifted by one bit. So one has come to this place, this one has gone to carry. So this has become 08 and more importantly, R3 has been incremented because one had gone into the carry. It has detected the carry and incremented the value of R3. So if R3 is containing one, then the number is an odd number. That logic of ours is working. Let's check if it works uh, with an even contingent. So now I am going to make this one two. So when I'm saying one two, what really happens is this number is going to become like this. So this is an even number for us. Let's check if uh, uh, things work out there. I'll rebuild the target again and let's put it into debug mode. Uh, yeah. So I have set the breakpoint somewhere. Yeah, I have set the breakpoint here. Okay. So let me run again. So now again 12 has got loaded, R3 has got cleared, uh, the execution, let's see where it goes. Okay, so now you can see that R3 got cleared and R0 uh, got loaded with 9. So this shifted to by one position and that got it loaded with 9. So that simply is saying that uh, the value here is uh, odd or even. So this is a very uh, simple way of uh, doing this. You can find more creative ways of doing the same pro program. 
uh, I, I would suggest that you could try uh, loading R3 uh, with 0, 0 if uh, it's an odd number and loading R3 with FF if it's an even number. So why don't you try uh, writing a code to do that? Try writing a code uh, to uh, load 0, 0 in case the number is even and FF in case the number is odd into R3. Okay. So with that as a small exercise for you guys, I think I'm going to wind up uh, this video. Bye-bye. Uh, Take care.